Welcome to This Is Getting Old, Moving Towards an Age-Friendly World. I'm your host, Melissa Batchelor, and today we're going to be continuing our special series on Alzheimer's care and swallowing problems. And so today is part two, we're going to be talking about modifying textures and how to build flavor. In part one, I talked about the basics, kind of what swallowing problems are, who tends to have them, and some of the basic lingo that you need to know in order um, to manage someone's difficulty swallowing. Um, in part three, we're going to talk about adaptive equipment. And in part four, we'll talk about how to maximize independence with eating. And you can find each of these episodes either in the podcast platform that you found this one in or on my YouTube channel. So main point for this particular podcast is learning how to choose recipes that can be adapted for a variety of textures. So in part one, I talked about um, regular consistency compared to mechanical salt versus pureed. So depending on what you need to do um, for, for your loved one, and you're probably caring providing care for or preparing the meal for more than one generation, you know, what will the kids eat compared to what you want to eat compared to what uh, the person with the swallowing problem um, is going to eat. So you really have to begin to think through each of those um, considerations. Um, think about how easy the recipe is to make. I'm a huge fan of the crock pot. And so if there's anything I can put um, in that to eat when I get home you know, from a busy day of work, that's what I'm going to do. And, and Typically the things that I cook in a crock pot could be a mechanical soft, you know, or very easily converted into like a pureed um, consistency. So um, when I say modifiable textures, that's really kind of what we're talking about. Um, we were doing a, a presentation for uh, culinary medicine, um, which um, Dr. Tim Har Harlan was on uh, the podcast talking about that. And we were going to make brownies. And initially I thought, well, we could just prepare the brownie mix, and then that would be considered pureed before you bake them. But at the end of the day, you could still bake the brownie and then you know mash it up. If you needed it to be mechanical soft, you could add a little milk to it um, to make that into either a mechanical soft or a pureed um, item. And so you could still actually cook um, that particular food item all the way through, uh, but, but you begin to think about things in that way. Uh, the second thing to know is um, what kitchen items you can use that can help prepare, um, prepare these foods. So you can use a standard blender. Um, I prefer to do things in my Nutribullet um, or Magic Bullet because that's just easier for me. It's a lot less cleanup and uh, I can put it all in the dishwasher. Of course, I can do that with my blender too, but the blender is just bigger. Um, you may use a handheld um, food blender, like an immersion blender. That's also another um, great way to, to thicken things. A food processor, even a household uh, mess, mesh strainer to kind of um, to get some of the liquid out if you need to, to thicken something. Um, or a baby food grinder. Um, all of these different types of kitchen equipment are going to be helpful to help you modify the texture to what you need it um, to do. And so the last thing we're going to talk about is how um, to build flavor, because even if you have to modify a texture, the food still needs to be good or nobody's going to eat it. Um, if the person has Alzheimer's disease, um, you know, remembering that sugar is a really good um, ingredient to add to anything just to sweeten it up. Uh, so particularly the peas and carrots is what they my friends, my nursing assistant friends in the nursing home tell me. But you can also use fats, dairy, um, or vegetables to build flavor. So um, this includes butter, margarine, sour cream, you know, uh, cottage cheese, and then your know, different oils, different types of gravies, whipped cream, heavy cream, um, a mashed or blended avocado, you know, or even hummus. And so depending on what the food item is and what you need to do with it, that's one way um, to build flavor into it. And also add um, you know, the fats or, and some vegetables into, into what you're making. And then the other way to do it is through different liquids. And so for this, you know, would a broth be better than milk? And for the broth, you've got vegetable broth, chicken broth, beef broth, um, a fruit juice is another good liquid or a vegetable juice. And then, you know, sometimes water is all you need to add um, to something. So those are three tips for uh, modifying textures and different ways that you can build flavor into something that you're preparing. 
And part three, we're gonna pick up with adaptive equipment that can help someone with um, swallowing problems. And in part four, we'll talk about how to maximize independence with eating. See you back here soon. Thank you for tuning in to This Is Getting Old, Moving Towards an Age-Friendly World. I'm your host, Melissa Batchelor. And if you'd like to learn more, you can check out my other episodes on my YouTube channel by either by subscribing and ringing the bell to get immediate notifications when new content comes out. In addition, you can also find the audio version of the podcast on Amazon Music, Spotify, iTunes, and Stitcher. Please feel free to leave an honest review because more reviews mean more awareness of the podcast and helps us move towards an age-friendly world. If you have a comment or a question, you can visit my website, melissabphd.com. Go to the Contact Melissa tab, and you can leave me a voice message. You never know. It might just include your question or your comment in an upcoming episode.